What if you spent a day on every planet in our solar system? You're gonna say this is it. Commander, Mark is dead. We have to go. Yeah. Hello, guys. In this video, we are going to see what happens to you on every planet in the solar system. Body crushing pressure, toxic atmospheres, unbearable temperatures. That's what would be in store if you visited other planets in our solar system. But what other environmental hazards would you encounter? Which planets would be the safest and which would be the most dangerous? And how long could you survive on any of them? Before you get started on your journey through the solar system, you should pack a bottle of water. Earth is the only planet known to have consistent bodies of liquid water on its surface. So if you pack enough, you could probably survive a few days just about anywhere, right? Well, sorry to say, I've got some bad news for you. Mercury. Let's start with a visit to Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. This rocky, crater-filled planet is only slightly larger than our moon, and it's located extremely close to the sun at a distance of 58 million kilometers. Even though a day on Mercury equals about 59 days on Earth, your trip wouldn't last anywhere near that long. Due to this slow rotation, you could land on the sunny half, where temperatures reach 430 degrees Celsius. Or maybe you'd aim for the dark side, where temperatures drop to minus 180 degrees Celsius, your best bet would be to find a cozy spot somewhere in between. But with an atmosphere mainly composed of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium, good luck breathing for very long. Even in this middle ground, you wouldn't likely survive more than two minutes. Venus. Let's check out what a day would be like on the second planet from the Sun, Venus. You should expect a very warm welcome because surface temperatures are a piping hot 475 degrees Celsius and one day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. Unless you've got an impossibly robust spacecraft, you couldn't get very close to the surface. And even if you did, you wouldn't last very long. Venus has a thick and toxic atmosphere, 154,000 times more carbon than the atmosphere of Earth and it's shrouded in yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid. You could say the Venusian atmosphere is a runaway greenhouse effect. Between the toxicity and the heat burning you to a crisp, you wouldn't survive one second on Venus. Mars. Now let's skip on over to Mars. Unless you wanted to stop back on Earth for a couple of breaths of fresh air. On Mars, You'd find comfort in a day that is a little over 24 hours. What you wouldn't find comfortable is an atmosphere of carbon dioxide, argon, nitrogen, and a little bit of oxygen and water vapor. The surface of Mars is cold, with an average temperature of minus 62 degrees Celsius. Combined surface temperatures too low to conform an unbreathable air, and you wouldn't survive much more than a few minutes here either. Jupiter. On the next planet, you wouldn't be able to reach the surface. That's because there isn't one on the gas giant, Jupiter. This planet is more than twice as massive as all the other planets in our solar system combined. And its atmosphere is primarily hydrogen, helium, and cold, windy clouds of ammonia and water. Jupiter might be bulky, but it rotates fast. One day lasts a mere 10 Earth hours. And because it's so fast, Jupiter's atmosphere has strong jet streams. Plus, the great red spot that is a storm bigger than Earth. If you fell into the planet, you would enter the atmosphere at a whopping 49 kilometers per s. And as you kept falling, the atmosphere would become denser and more turbulent. You might feel like you were slamming into a wall again and again. If you made it 692 kilometers, 430 miles down, you would find pressure levels higher than at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth. If the pressure didn't kill you, 
the temperature, which averages minus 145 degrees Celsius, certainly would. You wouldn't survive on Jupiter for one second, Saturn. Now, if you continued on to Saturn, you'd find another gaseous giant without a surface. And like Jupiter, a day that lasts about 10.7 hours. Here you would experience deadly strong winds reaching up to 1,800 kilometers per h, with an unbreathable atmosphere made of hydrogen and helium. Saturn is incapable of supporting life, but maybe you would have more luck on one of its moons. Like Titan and Enceladus, these two moons have internal oceans which could theoretically support life. Uranus, moving on to the first of the ice giants in our solar system. Uranus has a day that lasts about 17 hours, but you would want to reorient yourself considerably. Uranus rotates east to west and on its side. No surprise here that it also has an unbreathable atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane, which gives the planet its signature blue-green color and the stink of rotten eggs. There are some other unusual hazards on Uranus you'd need to be prepared for such as mysterious flares of X-rays and lethal diamond rain. You heard that right. Highly compressed diamonds of carbon atoms raining down from the atmosphere. But don't worry. The immense pressure would kill you in less than a second. Last but not least, Neptune. A dark, cold planet with supersonic winds as strong as 2,000 kilometers per H. That's faster than the top speed of a fighter jet. So if the pressure didn't kill you, those supersonic winds would probably do the trick. A day on Neptune would last for 16 Earth hours, but your life there wouldn't last a second. Okay, there it is. So in case it isn't clear, Earth would be the only planet you want to visit anytime soon. Just about anywhere else, you could look forward to a deadly cocktail of high pressure and toxic gas. That's unless we terraformed Mars, creating a second home for humanity within the solar system. Apart from this, do you know how pyramids of Egypt were made? No? Seriously? Don't worry, I have a good news for you. We have already uploaded the video on this topic. And trust me, it's very, very interesting, and it will be worth watching. If you like space-related videos, then I have many videos for you. That's true. What do you think was the moon landing fake? I think so. Go check out the video on this topic. Most funny part is that you were told lies about space. Oh, that's sad. Go check out what lies you were told. All the links are mentioned in description. I hope you liked today's topic. Thank you for watching till end. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and tell them about the life on different planets. See you soon in the next video. You can see our latest video after every four days. Thank you.